Sakatoa, Sakatoa. Sakatoa, Sakatoa. What is Sakatoa? Why would you use Sakatoa and not Pythagoras? And what's the difference? How do you know when to use them? Now, here is the one thing you got to know about Sakatoa. Sakatoa is all about angles. Is that okay? Can you remember that? It's all about angles. Keep that in mind. And there's an angle here. Whereas Pythagoras is just about length of side. So Sakatoa's angles. Keep that in your mind. If there's angles in the question, you'll be thinking of doing Sakatoa. Okay? Now we're going to have to use Sakatoa here to find the value of x. All right? So remember Sakatoa, learn it off the heart. Sine is equal to over h, opposite over hypotenuse. That's why we're learning the little little rhyme. Sine, you can look at, look, you can follow along. See, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. What's the C stand for here? You can probably guess, cos. What's cos equal to? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Happy days. And then tan is last one, which is opposite over adjacent. I won't do it. You can figure that out. Now, however, the critical part here is before you do any of that even, the critical part here is this piece here. I always point up like that. I call it an opposite because he's opposite the angle. You're, you're in the angle. Put yourself in 20, see the 20 degrees there. You're in there. You're standing in there and you're looking opposite. That is what you're doing. You're looking opposite. And that's how you know that's the opposite. And I put the adjacent on the bottom because then it's always in the bottom. That's your adjacent. And then obviously the long side is always hypotenuse. I guess it's always trying to figure out what's the opposite. You're in the angle. That's how you used to remember my head. So here we go. Finish it off. This is obviously going to be, we, ha we have the opposite and we're looking for X, which is the adjacent. Okay. So what one of these has the opposite over adjacent? What one of them? Take a look. What one of them of these is over A? It's tan, lads. It is tan. Tan is what you're going to do here. So take a look here. You're going to say, and you're in the angle. So tan 20 is equal to opposite, which is 6 over x. And you put this into your calculator. You didn't say x is equal to, because you're actually, this is the key part. Actually, people get this a small bit confused sometimes, actually. So I would I would do like this, then you cross multiply the last piece, because don't mess up this final part. Cross multiply the last piece. It's just multiplying up. I put this over 1 sometimes, and I would, I would cross multiply. So it would become 6 is equal to tan uh 20 i put it in brackets at that by x and then just for the last part here lads you want to say x is equal to 6 divided by because you're going to bring it underneath then tan 60 tan 20 degrees and you put that into your calculator and you get whatever um I don't have my calculator with me right now but you'll get whatever Okay, so that's how you do it. Well, the key part here is I'll bring it back to the top. Don't worry about the answer for two seconds. I really want you to focus on this here. The first step is you label the sides. Is that clear? You label the sides opposite over opposite adjacent hypotenuse, and you're in that angle. And you can work backwards from there. You're in that angle. This is you here. Look, you're sitting in that angle, and you're looking out. So that's your opposite. You label your adjacent. And then you label your hypotenuse and off you go to the races. You have the opposite. You're looking for the adjacent. You're going to your to toa, your tan, opposite over adjacent. And you work, you work it from there using a small bit of algebra and a bit of cross multiplying. It's not too bad. That's my little hack for soccer toa.